<laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready ka na? Janine, uh, knowing that it is God's will for me to marry you, I make a commitment to you today in the presence of our Lord and before of all these witnesses to love you with unconditional love. Build up siya kasi friends kami no una eh. Meron kasi akong ano, standards. Wow, checklist. Like ano, God-fearing, Christian, godly. Tapos, family-oriented. Ayan, patient, understanding. Yun lang. Tapos, except for one thing, which is yung height. <laughs> Pero parang for me, ano eh, hindi bihira yung ma-check mo lahat. So yun. Wala Pero, sa height eh, no? Wala oh, sa wala sa height. <laughs> Unless the Lord builds the house, Psalms 127 verse 1, its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stand guard in vain. Building a structure will not only take your effort, but it will also take a lot of cost. Ano po yan? Magastos. It will take some time kasi you have to accumulate some, at least some wealth to be able to invest to that. It will cost you a lot. Or should I say, it will cost you everything. <laughs> so again, it will cost you your pride, it will cost your comfort, but again, it's worth laying it all down for love. ng strong marriage pag nagbibuild tayo ng house we also need a blueprint you don't start building something without a blueprint because that's your pattern that should be the uh, guide para sundin ngayon sa married life the good news is God did not left us to figure it out on our own how to work it out binigyan tayo ng Bible because the Bible is the guide of our conduct more than the culture. Ives, as you chose me, I also chose you. As you pursue me, remember that I'm always going to respond to you lovingly and with gentleness. I will love you even your beauty fades away. Pero, mahilig ka sa skincare. So, matagal pa yun. <laughs> lalo na sa, siguro sa babae. Kasi, usually women wants yung affection. Eh, syempre, wala yung presence niya. So, parang, ngayon, wala yung needs na gusto mo matanggap sa isang relationship. Grace talaga. Kasi, hindi lahat ng babae na tas one year or 15 months to be exact, LDR, tatagal dun. Pero kailangan din siyempre ng people who will make it happen. Kaya meron tayong architects, meron tayong engineers, iba't iba klase pa ng engineer yan. So ganun din sa married life. Meron tayong mga subcontractors, people involved. Kaya nga yung married life, hindi siya just between you, Eves, and Janine. Kasi they, these people, of course, are there to guide you. Not only the pattern, the people, but last is, of course, the proper foundation. There's no other foundation we can lay but Christ Himself. months pala kayong LDR ang hirap naman ang 15 months pag nahihiwalay po ako sa wife ko ng mga one week, two weeks, mahirap pero yung 15 months, medyo mahirap talaga yon. pero finally now no more 15 months <laughs> no more LDR so, every moment has led us to this day every journey there I will love you even I would find your darkest secrets. 
I will be faithful to you always, never leaving you nor forsaking you. I will lead, guide, protect, and provide. So every 28 of the month, sahod kayo. Mas pumupogi ako dun eh. that in everything we do, it will be a two-way communication. I make a commitment to you today, as long as it's called today, before God Almighty and before all these people, to become your wife and helpmate, to be by your side even when I see all sides of you. I will live with you in understanding you, being thoughtful of your needs. I will honor you as a fellow heir of God's grace. Trust me that I will be your companion in every step of the way. Remember that I will wear my best friend hat first, then my hats as a wife. I commit to love you, baby, and submit to you as my spiritual covering. I commit myself to fulfill God's plan to provide loving leadership and spiritual covering for you and our children. I promise to Respect you and trust your wisdom and decisions, even when my emotions cannot accept it for, at first. <laughs> to listen to you even at times I feel unheard, I vow not to put myself first, nor you, but to put God at the center of our marriage. I will not hinder, but will inspire you and encourage you as the head of our household. We'll give our dreams to inspired for us to excel more together just as I'm in awe of you. I promise to stay and help you not just because that's my role but because I desire to be the one to witness it all in this life. taken on the responsibility of a husband and of course the spiritual leader so you may now kiss and hug your lovely friend and now your wife I commit to collaborate with you in the building of the church and the advancement of God's kingdom until Jesus returns to all His glory. I love you. Buhat ngayon at magpakailanman. Yo! Yeah.